All right, I'm gonna show you how I made my best vocal feature bass track yet. So I remember first I just picked a reference track. That's Blood from Elenium and it's a very nice track for future bass. So I remember I was doing first the build up, that's my like this. Alright, so I started with the build up and I started with the chords. I'm just going to put my automations on. So, for this chords, uh, I use not that much layer, if I remember great. It's only three layers, yeah. So, it's contact, it's uh, just a string ensemble, like this. Alright. Then there is a very big crush uh, song that comes from Flex. So I just use a synthwave preset from Flex and then I insert it into uh, wider to make it super wide, also very phasey. Like wider is cool to wider, but it had a lot of phase problems and I actually use these phase problems uh, for the sake of the sound. Then the saturation with Saturn basic thing and deep blue crusher that permits me to really get that very down sample crush. I just, I just love it. And at the end there is a serum that is just a plug call, something like that I think. Yeah. There is a, a bit of automation at the beginning of this. I think I made it in the automations or to remember I tell you where is it. But there is a very nice pitch that makes very mixed, a kind of introducing feeling. So then uh, I also use the bass um, like this. There's a monster. It's very powerful, and there are only two presets here. So I'm going to show you what I use here. So, first, a uh, serum bass. So basically, I use here an automation to make the dun 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 dun. And it goes there. And then I added a few bunch of effects to make it more solid. Mainly the EQ and the compressor and the distortion are the most important ones. Then I layer this with another bass, like this. So it is uh, pretty. Slayer, I don't remember how it's breaking here, but it's pretty Slayer and it permits me first to have sub, like you can see here there is a very big sub, and also have a kind of saturation and guitar feeling. So without the effects, the bass is like this. So it sounds great already, but with the effects, um, the very high is pan on the right and left, the bass is nicely on the middle. And um, the trim joints also are boosted, as you can hear. Um, at the beginning of each note, there is a big boom. And this boom, this is the attack of the sound, the beginning. And I just boost it with a trim joint processor. That's pretty much the, the same one that an FL Studio has, but it's just cheaper. So then I also EQ'd it a bit like this with a bit of distortion. Uh, boosted a bit the sub and the bass. And pretty much shit, I think there is no no more thing here. So then uh, in the build up I'll also use a few fixes like those. Wait, boom. So here there is a sample from Blood from Millennium that is just repeated. Here there is a very nice um, ambience that I love. I think it's come from contact. Yeah, there was some contact stuff here. Um, so here we have Nexus. For a kind of nostalgia pad. Then um, another chord from Nexus. 
and here's a multiple sound that is a electric guitar, like a jazz guitar from Contact that I just put into um, pretty much big processing, like there is not that much effect but it added a lot to the sounds so I'll let you just make pause to the video if you need to copy all those presets so here's basically a guitar that is from Contact and here is more from like a, a sample guitar that is still just guitar and it sounds very bad without all the presets um, on this um, on this chain. Also, we hear a lot of saturation on the like when it's alone, but when there is a lot of stuff on it, we don't hear it anymore. So that's very nice because the saturation was a bit silly, but it added a lot to the bass sound. So then I did a few loops. This actually helped a lot on the bass. It's a bit like a guitar, like a chick 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 from a guitar, but actually it's not a guitar, it's just a drum loop. I don't remember how I did that, I think I just uh, used a hat and then I duplicated a lot with the delay and stuff, and it makes this very nice loop, like this. Basic ambience and sweeps. Alright, then for the vocal, I also picked a vocal from Kara Vocals, that pretty much a base vocals for EDM. Highly recommend this pack. And I'm going to show you without all the effects on it, how it sounds. So it sounds like this. So here it's pitched down, but it's very dry. So I use uh, this to avoid the. It's kind of very. Hi, um, the breath of the sound, then I transpose it uh, by minus six, that is pretty common formant uh, number. Also, I boosted a bit the attack due to me down, and not the down, but down, I really want some punch. And then also another EQ to boost a lot the highs because without this, it sounds a bit. It wouldn't actually stand up in the mix all over the space and the cause. Voila! On the drum. Sorry, my just microphone just fell. Alright. Oh, it doesn't stand anymore. Okay, let's say it's worked. So, um, some of this. A few basic animations like snare pitch. And here I used a very very powerful thing. Uh, as actually I had no lead, like it's not like this before I had a lead. So before I had a lead something like this and it was too much like the original reference track. Like, it's not even a reference track, it's only kind of remake, edit, stuff like this. So, I don't need something unique to be able to say, yeah, it's kind of my own track. Even if I will never release that, since there is some sample content inside. So, what I did is that with my very, very bad singer voice, that sounds like, you know, stuff like this, alright? I either recorded something that sounds like this without any effects, just let me do that. So it started me singing like this. Something like that. Just like this. And uh, I just then added 20 effects on it to make it sound like this. So you see, you need a lot of effects to make this sound like this. And so, then we're gonna go to the drop. Uh, the chords are... I just love them. I'm just gonna keep the automations uh, on. So the chords are pretty basic, like there are only three presets, but it's very powerful. So 
Basically, I just use three pieces like this. Those very big sounds are pretty important, in my opinion. Like they really make the sound very full. It really gives a lot of harmonics um, to really fill up the, the melodic space. So three pretty basic future bass chords uh, presets that I, uh, I apply a lot of effects on the first one, I think, like on the on this one. What are the effects is it's not like this? It's pretty good. But I really wanted to keep only the chords and not the bass part that is still pretty nice, but I didn't want to keep that. So I put a lot of fixes on it, and so it also permits me to let space for the bass. That is composed of five layers, including one sub. So here is all sounds one, two. This is vitamin based, it's my favorite one. Birds, that sounds a bit like a lead. Like I think I just pick a lead and then turn down the octaves on a few EQ stuff. Also turn on the distortion and permits me to make a very nice bass. And here finally a sub. Very basic, with just a uh, fast distortion and EQ on it to make it bigger. So with a wave shaper, that is, I guess, yeah. Yes. All right. So the so three things here sound like this. So it sounds very weird without any side chain on it. So that's why I added a. It sounds very weird without any kick on it. I mean, in. So here's the kicks that I added are just here. There are a few uh, reverted kicks here that are pretty important uh, trick. Permit to be like a kind of motor of a car or something like that. Um, I just wanted to say, stack your snares. So important. Here, if I only used one snare, it wouldn't have sound pretty great. Like, just let me mute the snares. Like, it sounds very too much a light snare, and we need to layer more snares to make it feel first unique and really fit to your track. That is the most important thing for a snare, and finally, just to feel um, complete. Like to already feel all the frequencies that you want to, to complete. Here I'll add a little signature sound that I just love. That is this guy here. So you start knowing me, you know that is a sample from me. I'm gonna show you without any fixes on it how it sounds. like that. Also this chain comes from uh, a sound bank that we'll link in the description. So, boom. Uh, do I have something more to show? Maybe it's the artifact? That is a guitar from uh, in Excess, I think. Oh, I I fi oh. I fix layer. Like, I fix layer. Pretty basic guitar, it, it adds a lot to the chords. Like, here is this. We kind of uh, background guitar that is very, very nice to add more um, aluminum filling, basically. I just can't say this in another way. So then, also, uh, the vocal layer here, made with a syrup I think. Yeah, I think it's just a preset. 
So we hear it in the background a bit just to add more um, deepness and like more whole room. Like to very feel it's a very huge room where you are listening to music. Maybe you're not gonna hear it, sometimes you hear it more on headphones or speakers, but it's actually here and it makes it a very nice job. So finally let's see how the final result sounds like. Oh yeah, I also recorded the guitar just at the beginning, that is pretty bad, so I'm just going to skip a bit this part. Alright, so if you like this tutorial, this kind of total breakdown thing, I highly recommend you just to check out the link in the description. It's basically the sample pack that I used to make this track. As you can see, there is Prism everywhere, Prism Hi-Hat Loop, Prism Uplifter, Impact Sweep, Melody Campions, everywhere is Prism that I used. And so this sound mic is not released yet on this day, that is, uh, I don't have my phone here, but I think we are at the end of July. So it's not released yet, and you can just pre-save it, like reserve your ticket to be able to buy it when it will be out, maybe in two weeks around this date. So if you want to pre-save this, because there are only a few copies of it, I highly recommend you to pre-save this now in the description. And whenever, if you don't want to do this, and that's okay to me, just subscribe, hit the like button, and comment if you want more videos like this. See ya! I need you now